Hi, Tim Ryerson here with studentathleteworld.com. Today's topic is financial aid packaging. And when we're talking about financial aid, what's really important to remember from the beginning is that the only thing that matters is the bottom line price. So there's a starting price of what the school costs, which I'm sure you all have researched and know what that is. That price doesn't matter. What really matters is what are we going to pay? What are we writing the check for to the school? The way to think about any type of scholarship or, you know, scholarship kind of has an emotional twist to it or emotional word. Don't call it a scholarship. Think of it as a discount. So there's a starting price. They're going to give you a discount either based on different things we'll talk about today. And then there's going to be the price you're paying. There's basically four categories of discounts. And the first category is the, the sports scholarship, right? And Oftentimes, that's what you think about most and how you're going to save money for college. Unfortunately, only 50% of the schools that have sports programs offer sports scholarships. Not only that, but most of the time, it's not going to be a full ride. Only in rare instances is it actually a full ride, meaning everything is taken care of. On average, if you take across the United States, all of the athletes that are on sports scholarships... The average sports scholarship is less than 25% of the total cost of the education. So if a school costs $30,000 and you're on a typical or average sports scholarship, you're getting a $7,500 scholarship to attend a $30,000 school. So the real number isn't $7,500, it's $22,500, meaning that's what you're going to have to pay to go to school on that sports scholarship. The second type of discount off of the education is an academic scholarship. Now, this is based on your GPA and your SAT, but remember, every school is different. So what Princeton may give you for an academic scholarship is going to be different from what another school may give you. So it's important to cast a wide net, of course, and um, every school has different criteria for how they determine how much academic scholarship they give. Probably the most confusing aspect of financial aid is the third part and that's in the category of financial need based scholarships or discounts. Now there's two different places where this money comes from. There's money that comes from the federal government and then there's money that comes from the individual school. It's a little confusing here but um, but stay with me on this. So the, with the federal government you will fill out what's called the FAFSA, F-A-F-S-A. It stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. So the federal government will take your tax information and all your family history and background and everything and determine what your EFC, and that stands for Estimated Family Contribution. So they will determine what they think you can afford to pay for school. You may not agree with the federal government, but that is an important number in the process, the EFC. The federal government can give out money um, in, in, by way of grant, which is free money that you don't have to pay back, interest-free loans, which are what they are, interest-free loans that you don't pay back until after you graduate, and then maybe some work study in there. Even if you make too much money to qualify for any assistance from the federal government, it probably is in your best interest still to fill out the FAFSA. And here's the reason why. With the FAFSA, you get the, the EFC number. You can then take that EFC number, submit it to the school that you are applying to, and they can give you financial need from their pot of money, their family need money, based on your EFC. So even though the federal government isn't giving you money, the school can. So it's very important to fill out the FAFSA in most cases. It's, it's very quick. Our clients can find the link to fill out the FAFSA from the client login page. Uh, it's a little bit of paperwork. It is usually well worth it for you to do that. And that brings us to the fourth type of scholarship that a school can give. And that is a, a leverage scholarship. And that is really nothing more than getting other offers from other schools, sending those offers to the school that you're interested in, and that school can then give you some money. Sometimes they'll call that a the school name scholarship or an alumni scholarship or a leadership scholarship or whatever that might be. Think of a school very similar to a cruise ship or a hotel. If they have empty seats or empty empty cabins or empty hotel rooms, 
they'll often discount those down to a school typically has what's called a discount rate, a do not go below rate. So hypothetically, if a school costs thirty thousand dollars, maybe they have a discount rate at fourteen, meaning. It'll get you down to 14 and, and they're still making money. So what's important is that bottom line price, not, uh, of course, what it starts with. So what you need to do to negotiate the price on the college education is get as many schools as possible to put together a financial aid package for you. Now, a couple things about putting together a financial aid package. According to the NCAA, the only influence a college coach can have in financial aid packaging is over the athletic scholarship. They can't have influence over your academic scholarship, your financial needs scholarship, or any leverage aid that you may get. There's a gray area there. The, having the coach in your corner, having the coach interested in you, having the coach present what you have to offer to the admissions and financial aid office is a good thing for you. Um, how much influence they have is, is depending on school by school, but let me just say this. At most schools, it's going to help you if the college coach is involved in this process. Now, the other thing to remember about financial aid packaging is every, every school is a little bit different. Some schools will not give any scholarships based on merit. Merit includes athletic or academic, so basically what you're good at. Um, some schools will choose not to give any scholarships like that. They only give financial assistance based on need. Um, other schools will be able to wheel and deal a little bit more uh, than others. Here's what you need to know about it. Each school is going to have admissions and financial aid representatives, full-time employees that work for that school. Even small schools with a thousand students probably have at least three or four full-time employees that deal specifically with financial aid packaging. So don't sit back and wait for that school to hand you this financial aid package. Just call them. Call that school, talk to that admissions officer, tell them the other schools that you're looking at, and tell them that you need to get a financial aid package put together and ask them what steps you need to take. It may include sending the FAFSA for that school, filling out some financial aid documents for that school, Ask them what you need to do to get this bottom line number. Anything you do financial aid wise before you get that bottom line number is just speculation and you're just honestly wasting your time talking about what schools cost and what they are. If you don't have that bottom line number, it doesn't matter. That's the only number that matters to you. Again, once you do get that bottom line number, that's not the end of it. Take the other offers leverage them with that offer and they can oftentimes go even lower. If a school wants you, and typically the school wants kids who are good students, good athletes that the coach wants, and are warm bodies that can pay a little bit of tuition. If the school wants you, they can wheel and deal, some schools can wheel and deal um, a lot. So don't miss out on that opportunity to save money on your college education. Uh, clients of ours, if you have any questions, on, there's lots more financial aid information on our client login page. And feel free to give us a call anytime and we can walk you through some of these steps. I hope this was informative and we look forward to talking with you again.